Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three exciting launches to share with you today. EBS volumes are useful and flexible. You can choose the location, size, and performance characteristics in seconds, create a volume, and you can put it to use right away. If your needs change later, you can modify the volume while your application is running. Last week, we announced the IO2 volume type at the same price as the existing IO1. You get higher durability and more IOPS per gigabyte. IO2 volumes are designed to deliver five nines, that's 99.999% durability, 2,000 times more reliable than a commodity disk drive. They're perfect for your business critical workloads. The volumes can now deliver 500 IOPS per gigabyte, making them even better at handling your high performance workloads. You can create new IO2 volumes in seconds, and you can also change the type of an existing EBS volume to IO2. With this launch, you now have six different EBS volume types to choose from. The volumes are available today in 16 AWS regions, and you can read my blog post to learn more. We've opened a second local zone in Los Angeles. The local zones extend existing AWS regions to be closer to end users and provide very low latency access to AWS services running in the zone. The local zones support EC2, EBS, FSx for Windows File Server and for Lustre, Elastic Load Balancing, Relational Database Service, and VPC. The applications running in a local zone also have full access to AWS services running in the parent zone, which happens to be Oregon in this case. All right, so now that there's two local zones in Los Angeles, you can achieve even higher availability and fault tolerance while serving apps that can take advantage of that low latency. This could be things like workstations for digital artists, local rendering for media and entertainment, gaming, financial transaction processing, and perhaps machine learning inferencing. To get started, you just opt into the local zones within your AWS account, and then you start to create your AWS resources. You can read Steve's blog post to learn more and to see an example of a hybrid architecture that combines local zones and availability zones. And finally, we added a powerful new option to CloudFront. You've long been able to get access logs for CloudFront in a matter of minutes, and that's totally fine for most cases. However, some of our customers need real-time access, and we're happy to make it available. So you can now create real-time log configurations for any of your CloudFront distributions, and you can route the logs to a Kinesis data stream or to a plain old HTTP endpoint. You can control the sampling rate, and you can send between 1% and 100% of the log records to the stream. You can also choose the fields you'd like to include in the stream with 40 to choose from. You can use this to create dashboards, set up alerts, and investigate anomalies all in real time. Set this up from the console, the SDK, or the CLI in minutes, and you can check out the what's new to learn more. That's all we've got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Send us an email, a tweet, or even leave a comment below. To see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you again soon.